<laughs> G'day and welcome to Double the Fist Special Edition. Well, we've reached the halfway point and what a ride it's been. We've gone from a little known show on the ABC to be the highest rating show in Australian history. But let me tell you, it was a piece of cake. Today, we're going to take a look at this series so far. We're going to see segments that the ABC told us were too extreme to show on television, as well as many documentaries about the characters and the cogs and mechanics behind the Ferrari that is Double the Fist. But first up, let's take a look at a very special sneak preview of the eight episodes still to come. Now, you may not know this, but in order to legally show a person's face on television, you have to have their permission. Watch this. You. Can I show your face on television? Yeah, no problem. You, sir. <laughs> Can I have your permission to show your face on my show? Uh, not really. <laughs> what if I were to say, if you don't give me your permission, you'll be savagely beaten with a baseball bat? Uh, what do I sign on, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. You! You there! Yeah. Would you like to be on my television show? No, no, I wouldn't. Okay. Unless you give me your permission, you'll be savagely beaten with a baseball bat. No, I don't want to be on it. Okay, no. Yes, no. Okay. One last chance to keep your looks, sir. Give me your permission to appear on my show. Look, you can't threaten me, mate. I've said no, okay? Just forget it. Hey! You have an opportunity to avoid this! So there you have it. When out filming, remember preparation is the key to a good day. And don't forget your public release form. Because of his absolute fist worthiness, Rod is very popular in Korea. Let's take a look now at an ad he's made for the Asian market. Hey, good news! The Korean Hangul Ad Agency from Mai Po Song Do. Fan Gao Ma 25 Ao Yuan Song Li Jing Qing Tao Yu Zhu Jiang Qiao Pai Sheng Tou Wang Ge Yi Zhi. Fan Gao Ma 50 Ao Yuan Song Shi Jin Chuang Sheng Yu Xiang Mi Yi Bao Hu Yue Bi Li He. Large Sang Huo Zan Guan Yong Ping Di Da Bao Yong Ping Te Jia Ba Shou. 特快送货，今天落单，明天送货，机会多多，不要错过哦！电话：零幺零四幺幺九九九幺，传真：零幺零四幺幺二三六六。Okay, I've got a letter here. You double the fist. When anything spectacular happens on your show, it's always done with a cheap special effect. Does this mean you're weak? Love, Exantia. Well, Exantia, you couldn't be more wrong. You see, we at Double the Fist don't use cheap special effects for spectacular stunts. No, we use cheap special effects for everything. See this barbecue? Special effect. You see, every shot in every episode of Double the Fist contains at least one special effect. You didn't spot that, did you, Xantia? Why do you only notice special effects when they're spectacular? Is it because you're a weak, cowardly, unobservant, gullible idiot? Let's ask Dexter. And who's Xantia's perfect match? Okay, if you want to find out who your perfect match is, write to us at Double the Fist, care of the address below. Ready? 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 audition tape was extraordinary. But he's not the only one to audition for Double the Fist. In fact, when we asked for contestants, we received up to 100 audition tapes. All of them weak. Let's take a look now at some of the insulting attempts by everyday Australians to prove their fist worthiness. G'day, Jimmy Hoggs here. Tell you what I'm gonna do today. I'm auditioning for Double the Fist. Now, I'm in. 
I'm going to get my trusty glass of water over here. I'm not going to drink any water. I'm going to drink the pool water, and I'll see you in half an hour. You think you're so cool because you can run fast. Well, the only reason you can run fast is because you got a genetic disposition and you go to a sporting institute where your mum sent you. I'm just going to whippersnip this whole reserve because I'm so tough. I'm going to take this off. No guards, no safety. Just let it go and let the thing cut my legs open. I hear you say, we have to run a bit further, otherwise we'll have to slow down before the end of the race. Wrong! You're not thinking because you never learned how to think! It's simple. All you have to do is measure back 100 metres from a wall, run, and the wall will do the job of stopping you. Watch. Remember sports fans? Patriotism is a form of racism! That was dead said simple. I'm going to jump in now. I'm gonna finish off, I'm gonna beat the hell out of this pool so there'll be no water left in here whatsoever! Ah! 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 Now this, put me on your show and I'll show you what we're made out of! But out of the bog came this golden nugget of glory. His name is Bill Karras and he lives in Western Sydney. Now here's something the ABC doesn't want you to know. Bill was originally given his own segment on Double the Fist. Unfortunately, after the first episode, those weak, spineless dogs at ABC decided that Bill's segment was too subversive and cancelled it. I've decided that the Australian people should be allowed to make up their own mind. So let's have a look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of front of this well-known family restaurant. They serve a burgers, a hot chips, and a ice cream, and a hot apple pies, and the drinks you might have been in this store before. It's here, there's a lot of a billion friendly cows that don't give money back to the cow community. What's the story? Do your kids love Harry Potter? It's not surprising. Let me read you out some. <clears throat> you are the special magical chosen one. All the kids who are stronger than you are going to be jealous. You're going to show all the kids who are better than you. Because soon, a magical pony will come along and make you popular. Your kids aren't magical. Your kids aren't special. If you let your kids read Harry Potter, you're telling them not to bother trying in life. If you let your kids read Harry Potter, they're going to grow up to be losers. Just like you! But I got a solution right here. It's a book for 12 year olds called 3000 Weeks Till You Die. But you think I can get it published? No! If you're one of the agents that's rejected my manuscript, let me tell you, you're going to be very, very sorry, you goddamn hell toucher! The whole Western world is going to hell, and it's all your fault! Yeah. 
recently voted as one of the top 10 weak engineering feats in history, this monstrosity is the weakest way to cross the harbour. But not today. Ballistic Man is going to show us how. <laughs> Welcome back. Tonight I have a guest with me that needs absolutely no introduction. He's a star of Australia's most popular television show, author of best-selling diet book, and just been recently nominated as Bachelor of the Year. Womp, how are you today? Oh, uh, pretty good. Bachelor of the Year, eh? That's, um, that's pretty great. Yeah, that was a surprise. I, uh, I went along to the party though, which was really good. I got to meet heaps of great guys who um, I'm still in touch with. Well, it's not much of a surprise to me. As we've seen on the show, you've got quite a powerful body. How do you keep it up? I find it's a combination of, of eating the right things and doing the right kind of exercise mm. to strengthen my body. Sure. Yeah. And um, I guess I'll just get straight to it. Why are you on the show? Oh, well, I find that Double the Fist makes me a stronger person. Sure. Before Steve came along, I was quite sad. And now, I'm constantly striving for my best. I feel alive. That's great. Now, you mentioned that Steve took you under his wing. Is there anything going on between you and Steve? Ah. Uh, my favourite part was when I got to dress as a bush and ride a bike. <laughs> I guess there's just been rumours, Womp, that perhaps you and Steve are an item. What's going on? Well, you are displaying overt behaviour. What is this? This was supposed to be about me and Double the Fist, not about me and Steve. I'm not gay. Steve isn't gay. We just, we, we hang out. And I've had enough of this. Everybody's saying, oh, the Womp and Steve must be gay because we're not, we're just mates. Good mates. Well, you may have read in the newspaper or even heard on the AM radio that we, Double the Fist, have been going through a few problems with the ABC and other weak government institutions over the past eight weeks. So what's been happening? The ABC has decided that it knows best and should start cutting segments out of my show. You see, there's this dog called that because he's some sort of god, we shouldn't be allowed to be on the television. And all the pathetic little worms at the ABC have decided to play along with his pathetic game, telling us what we can and can't do. Not only do they tell us that I can't put my show on the air, but they also tell us that the BBC makes better programs than we in Australia could ever make. And I can tell you right now, I am sick and tired of seeing men pounced around in tights on Sunday night, 8.30. We get standing issue ABC cameramen and soundmen, and they are those worst, most pathetic idiots I've ever had to deal with. You and all your friends who work at BNN and whatever the hell it was called before it got canned should be left. Okay, you should leave my house. See, I don't get a fancy studio like all the other pretty little shows at the ABC. I broadcast outside of my house in Ruby Hill, and I don't want to do it anymore because these people come in here, they eat my food, they bother my wife for shelf. Get out. Thank you. 